Hi guys, welcome to Dress and Tammy. I got my fabric for my dress. Now, against this burgundy coat, which is very dark, this is going to look a little bit raspberry, but this is it. This is the fabric. It is, I think it, I think they said it was a poly crepe. I don't know. It's got a little bit of a texture. It's definitely not, well, it's see-through here, but I can't see through it when I look at it, like if for a, for a, for a dress. So um, that's all I'm going to show you. We will go over that next Wednesday. So I am on my way home. I was evil. This is why I don't like Hobby Lobby. I love these things. Um, and I owe that to my dad because that was my dad's favorite candy. So um, on the way home, film the rest of this video. And um, I'm, I, I think I finally figured out how to alter the facing part. I know I'm like, I got a lot of room over here. I think I altered to alter the facing of that shirt that we were working on on Tuesday's video. So I'm anxious to get home and get that done. So let's go. Alrighty, here we are back at the old homestead, and I don't even have my clothes off yet, so, um, I don't, I was looking at my little red sleepy shirt today, and it also has, again, the same sort of collar, but it just had a narrow, I mean, we're talking very narrow strip that went right up and attached itself to that shoulder, so, as soon as I get some lunch supper in me, because I only had one meal a day, um, I'm going to go ahead and work on this. And so I'm going to go ahead and angle this in a little bit more, maybe to here and up, and then so that my collar will come down, and then go ahead and add to this that strip. And then we will try it again. It probably won't be in this fabric. I've already wasted all my interfacing on that too. But anywho, we've already we've got enough interfacing. So yes, um, let me go have myself some lunch, watch a couple of videos, um, comment on anybody who I haven't commented back to yet on today's Blair Warner Wednesday video, and then we will make a shirt. Alrighty, welcome back after I have filled my tummy with all kinds of goodness and here we are. I've unpicked it as I was watching my videos. And so we've got it laid out here. This is the facing that will fold over and then the collar will connect. This is the shoulder and the um, armhole here. And of course the neckline. So it is my goal to fill in right here, maybe about an inch. And then just from the, from the shoulder seam, we're just gonna give a gentle curve and just kind of fill that in just a little bit. First thing I have to do though, is this is the center where I unpicked it, where it folds over on the back side. So I need to make sure that my line is straight so that when I fold it over, I can match it up correctly. So I'm gonna put you down and I'll be right back. All right, here we go. So all I did was just, I don't know if you can even see it, but that's the fold line from the one that was on Little Doris. And then I just made sure my ruler lined up with the fold line and went straight up. So now I'm going to, whoops, <laughs> I'm going to cover up the camera, so that'll be helpful. I'm going to grab my curves here and um, give myself a little more of a gentle curve, okay? And I can't do that with you in my hand, so I'm going to put you down for just a second. We'll be right back. Okay, I have, I have a quite a few lines here, but I started out with this one, and then I'm like, this might be too low when it folds over, so I jotted it up just a hair right here and then this is going to be the line that I work with. I think that's a little bit more of a gentler curve and not so down and out. So now we're going to take this side over here, fold it over and trace that line all the way up onto the shoulder and then maybe add about this much so that it can connect and then come down into the face. Okay. This is how I come up with my facing. So they're lined up here, so that's how much that will be. And then I'm gonna cut this line down here, give it a little bit of a curve, and then we'll follow it back down here on the pattern, okay? All right, let's do this. Um, I think I'm going to make a, whatever scrap fabric I have, I'm gonna make that one side in a scrap fabric and put it on, and then we will come back. Um, I, I do have this mauve fabric here. It's the only one that I have washed. So I think I'm if I can get it to work, that's what we're going to make a shirt out of. All right, 
I was lucky enough to have enough fabric to make another side. So this is the side that we just cut with the, you can see the neckline, how much it's brought in. I did not cut another collar piece, and I'm glad I didn't because it looks like it's going to fit perfectly here and fold over and meet just where I need it to meet. So, all right, let me just go ahead and sew this up and we'll come back and look at it. Okay, so maybe we don't have a shirt tonight. <laughs> um, this is the side that I just did. Let me just try to zoom in there. The collar lays a heck of a lot nicer than this one, which this is the seam allowance that's poking out. So this one lays a lot nicer. But if I pull it over, this part right here comes down to here and it doesn't even give me a good gap. So what I have discovered is I need to take it up. I'm not, I'm taking it like the same distance, but I need to take it up and then when I pull it down, it lines up with my collar. So I don't know if that even makes any sense, but if I wanted it to be like this, let me get closer. Okay, there's my collar and if I wanted it to be like that, then I have to come way up and I'm not look at look at where I am right here and I gotta be like up here so learning curve let me turn you around real quick okay so here is this so see the difference here now I don't know am I happy with that I don't know I don't know if I'm happy with this much of a, a thing I mean I guess you could put a pin here <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know if I want to make a shirt. I think I'm going to try. I think I'm just going to try it and see. I had to run and get my shirt and look at the collar and um, see how that was. And then I thought, you know, if I brought the collar down closer, but, but I don't want to do that either. So should I? Should I just go ahead and try it and we'll find out and see what it looks like? I don't know. Is it horrible? Is it very horrible at all? I like the openness. You could wear like a little tank under it or something. That's pretty low. <laughs> that is honest to goodness. That's pretty low. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Let's see if I put a pen here. Design it on camera. And see, that looks even stupider. The more open it, it is, the better this part looks. Then I'm thinking maybe I should drop, maybe I should drop the collar. But I'm afraid if I drop it too much, it's not going to give me a good curve. I don't know. We'll see. Be right back. Okay, guys, here I am at the sewing machine. Yeah, it does have mauve in it, but it is not that mauve fabric. I am. I just want to get this done and see if it works. So I found this yellow fabric, and with the big florals, and this is so not me. But it's a good experiment. And I even cut one of the collars, and then I put the back with yellow. I still have to put the um, interfacing on this. But yeah, I never wanted to get something done so bad as I want to see if this works. So it is six o'clock. Let's see how far we get. Take a, minute, take a minute and look at this floral shirt on me because you probably will never see another floral shirt on me again. But this is what I did. And so remember why I was saying I needed to come up? No. I needed to lower the collar is what I needed to do. So I lowered the collar. Let me see if I can zoom in there like this. Um, and I got a little bit more of a thing. I don't hate it. But, you know, I may not know everything. <laughs> But I don't hate it. So that's it. I got a little bit of room here. I tried to add a little bit because I only had my little mock-up was only to here. So I added and I think I added as I always do too much. So um, I do have, look at this, I got creative. I added a pop of color. I mean on this long collar that doesn't look very cute, but I wanted to see if I could do it. So this will probably end up being a Oops, sorry you guys. This will probably end up being a good um, mowing the lawn shirt, perhaps. Um, again, let me turn you around. 
Okay, here I am, my little craft room. I got my ring light on it. I don't know if that's given you any better idea of what I've actually done here, <laughs> but <sighs> I don't hate it. I'm going to tell you that. I don't hate it. Once I get the sleeves on, I'm going to really see how it looks. I think it's kind of cute. This right here, not for this low of a collar. It really needs to be up by your face, but I wanted to see if I could do it and I did it. So it is seven o'clock. No way. Yes, this only took me an hour to do. Come on. So 7.05, <laughs> I'm shocked, I'm literally shocked. So um, if I wasn't so tired and hungry, um, I would probably go ahead and put the sleeves in, but I am very tired. I don't, where I'm looking, I don't know, but I am very tired and I'm very hungry. So I am gonna have a snack, give my kitty some treats, and I'm gonna go ahead and call this one a night. Um, you will see it, I promise you, on Tuesday with the sleeves and everything. I promise you'll see it on Tuesday. If, I, if I'm confident enough, I might wear it to work on Tuesday. And then you can get pictures of me in the dressing room. Styled. I've got a, I think it would look, I've got a blue cardigan that I might be able to wear with this. I don't have pink or anything, but I think a blue cardigan might work with this, so... We'll see, okay? So you guys have a wonderful weekend. I will see you guys again on Tuesday with this, and I don't know, just play it by ear, okay? <laughs> Bye. And also, thank you guys so much of those of you who subscribed. I didn't hit 200 this week, but that's okay. There's next week, and then there's the week after, and it'll happen when it happens, okay? So thank you guys very much. Bye.